Hi everyone, in this video what we're going to learn is how to request administrative permissions when we execute uh, uh, a program written in C Sharp or Visual Basic. So let's start. We're going to create a new console project. And it's going to be hello admin permission. This can be Visual Basic or C Sharp. It works in both. So in this case, we're going to compile. Uh, let's go into bin. If you see the icon, let's see large icons, extra large icons. Uh, this is just a simple executable. Okay, so in this case, uh, this is running from, let's see the path. It's running from projects, which is within my documents. And that means that in that folder, uh, the current log user is the owner. So it doesn't require administrative permission to change this folder. Uh, but in the case that, in most cases, when we create an application, it will be running from program files or program file x86. So in this case, uh, that folder uh, requires administrative permission in order to, to modify anything there. So it's better to make our application to request the administrative permission, otherwise it will throw an error and then the user need to run it again and do right click and run as administrator like I'm going to do here right now. To avoid this, uh, what we need to do is we go here, uh, go to add menu, let's see, where is it? New item, and then here we look for manifest. So we're going to add an application manifest and we're going to leave this as it is. So in this case, it's running as the invoker. The invoker will be the current user, but uh, even though the current user might be an administrator, there is an elevated permission, which is um, administrative permissions. So in this case, what I'm going to do, I'm going to change this from as invoker. I'm going to delete this and copy this um, require administrator. So I'm going to put this here and I'm going to compile and I'm going to change this So, if we go to the folder, to the bin folder, now let's make the icons bigger. You see that you have the administrator icon in here. So, when we run it, it will request administrative permission. And we say yes. And here's our console project. So, in this case, uh, even though uh, this executable will be can be running from program files 86 or program files. If this executable will modify or somehow change the file system in that folder, um, it won't break because it will have administrative permission. So this is pretty much what I wanted to show you. In any case, you can drop me a line in the comments below. Thank you.